and uh, I'm from Canarsie. Um, we moved here in about, when I was about eight years old, from St. James Place in downtown Brooklyn, Clinton Hill, West, uh, Clinton Hill section of Brooklyn. Canarsie was like the country back then. Anyway, this morning we're hanging out by the pier, Canarsie Pier. And if you see, here's the pier, people are fishing over there. It's all around here. Now, when I was a kid, when I was about eight years old, nine years old. At the bottom of the pier, it's all cemented off now. But in the old days, you climbed over those railings. They had different railings back then. Anyway. You climbed over the railings. You could hold on to the pier and climb underneath the pier. They had beams, wooden beams underneath there. And we used to sit underneath the pier on the wooden beams. Fishing with bamboo poles. The snappers, flounder. Anyway, fluke. Anyway, but this pier has a lot of water rats and stuff, but like I said, I was young back then. My friend Barry and me and a few other guys, we used to go fishing. And at the time, well, Barry was my best friend. He used to live a few blocks from me. We were schoolmates together. We used to hang out together, go fishing together, hang out. Anyway, me and Barry used to go underneath the, the pier and we used to go fishing. And just like here, see, I'm sitting over here at this, at this bench. Okay, anyway. Sit at this bench. Take me this cane is my pole. Okay, so I'm like this, and my legs are dangling underneath the pier. Rats. I one other time would come walking along and one into the wild. Down here, and they'd see me sitting here. And I was like about like eight or nine years old. And they'd stop. And they'd actually look at me like this. And they'd look at their eyes and I'll say, I'm not gonna bother you. I'm not gonna bother you. And they believe this the rats. They actually stop and look at me, right? And I say, I'm not gonna bother you. And they'd be about this big. I say, I'm not gonna bother you. I'm not gonna bother you. Go ahead, go ahead. There was only about this much room because it was only a beam. I said, I'm not going to bother you. I'm just fishing. See, go ahead. So I go like that. I wouldn't look at him like this. And I could hear it. And the rat would actually, wait a second, looking at me. And he'd actually go right behind me. Then bother me and go right past me and walk down there. And I'd see him walking because I go like this. I'd see him walking down the rest of the beam. And that's a true story. And you know, when I was, when you were a young kid, you had afraid of nothing. I mean, my friend Barry used to do the same. We both used to be underneath there doing it. Not only me and Barry, but other I forgot the other guy's name. But we used to be underneath there. We used to all do that stuff. We used to climb underneath the pier, fish underneath there, catch, and then climb back up over the railing onto the pier. Cause it was a lot more fun doing it like that. It was like you're doing something wrong, you know? And uh, that's my story for today about Canarsie Pier. Canarsie Pier was always great. Matter of fact, when I die, I mean, this is a great place to hang out and make out and stuff like that at nighttime. Matter of fact, uh, I brought your mother down here. She used to park down here sometime back in 1976. Just watch the, the moon and the airplanes going off. And you know, it's a nice view over here. It's nice and relaxing. And uh, a lot of stories. And uh, matter of fact, when I die, I already told this guy who's taped me right now that. I want to be cremated and put my ashes right in the pier over here because I had good times down here growing up. Yeah. It was great. And as you can see, people are still enjoying the pier. Let's uh, take a walk and show you what I'm talking about. That beach is over there. My ashes should go right over there. Anyway, you see that pier over there? That part of the pier? That's all cemented in now, but in the old days, that cement wasn't all like that. You could climb underneath there. There were beams going all the way through. And you could jump on the beams and get in there underneath the pier and fish underneath the pier. 
right by the edge of the pier, you can see light and stuff. You understand? And even on this side down here, look. See over there? That's mo that, on that side of the pier, that's where we used to go. On that side of the pier, underneath. Okay? All and right. um, check it out. Check it out. See? It's a little bit foggy today. Let me tell a long story. We gotta go on the other side of the pier. Okay. You wanna go? You wanna say another, another, another story? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, come on. See the bridge? Where is it? Oh, it used to be over there? Yeah, that's it. No, I'm gonna tell them about when you jump off that bridge. Only the old bridge, not that bridge. That's the new bridge. We used to jump off that bridge into the water, into the creek, and swim back to shore. But it was very, very dirty and oily. I only did that a few times because when I jumped off, the, me and a few other guys jumped off. We didn't know how oily and greasy it was. When we got to shore, got, and we, we were able to stand up in the in the mud. It was the mud was really yucky mud, and the grease was like oil, like olive oil, all the way up my legs, my body, my underwear. Everywhere it was all oily and greasy, so we had to go home and take showers. We were so we stunk. We only did that once, that one day. We did it. We jumped off twice. That bridge over there, not that bridge, the older bridge. In the old days, you used to have boat rides over here too. They used to be boats that used to be parked over here. So they left the water or something. They take you out for a ride, on the boat. You know, when I was a kid. But that's a long, long time ago. I said that, that's gone. At about the same time, we used to hang out there and jump off that bridge. We saw a beating one time of a guy and a girl were having a bad fight there. We watched it from the bridge. They were down on the beach. They were arguing, and the guy beat up this girl. We never saw anything like it. He was beating her up and throwing her in the water. We were yelling down at him to leave her alone. And she'd get up and he'd smack her down. She'd fall back down again. She'd get up and throw her into the water again. Then she'd get out of the water. They, they were having a big, bad fight. Anyway, he finally stopped smacking her around. And uh, they, 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 le they left, you know, they walked away. But he was smacking her around. I never saw nothing like that about a man smacking a woman around like that. Really smacking them, throwing them into the water. Really bad, bad news. Another thing we used to do is, see where that creek is over there by the bridge? We used to also we used to build rafts, try to build a raft. We used to get some rafts, some wood together, make a raft. Take us a few days, we build a raft, and we try to sail across the creek. Yeah? Yeah, and we'd be sailing. The thing would start to sink a little bit. The boat would come, a little a rowboat or a, a boat would come by with a, a motor on it and the, the wave would like make us go like this and we'd almost fall into the creek, you know? <laughs> so we never made it to the other side. We would get like about halfway and we'd have to come back because the damn thing would start sinking on us. Uh. You know? Yeah, so that's, that's, that's another story. We used to try to have fun hanging out down here. Okay. Take care now. Have a good day, everybody. Look at that guy. He's got a dog in the water. See? You see? But this water still looks like it's very murky and dirty, you know? It does.